This is a 2014 Ford Ranger dual cab utility vehicle. Like most other vehicles in its class, it has a style side tub mounted on the back, but more importantly, it also has a hardtop canopy. The internal dimensions of the tub are 145cm long by 155cm wide, and if we do a little Pythagoras, that gives us a diagonal dimension of just over 212cm. I am human of average height. Wait a sec, I reckon I can sleep in there. Light bulb. Battling jacks, driving on the tracks, so much more. Come along with all things outdoors. Well, welcome everyone to my Christmas special, or if you don't spe celebrate Christmas, happy holidays, all of that stuff. Um, I've decided to come out and do a Christmas special, as you can see from the hat and the tree, in a completely new camping setup for me. This is something that I've wanted to do for quite a while, so that I can be a bit more versatile with my camping. So, I've always wondered whether I could build a setup where I could actually sleep underneath the canopy of my dual cab utility which I'm in at the moment. I, I have a 2014 Ford Ranger which has a insulated uh, canopy on the on the back of it and the good thing about this canopy is that it has central locking the the lights activate um, by the the central locking as well I've got a nice little interior handle here uh, sorry, um, catch and handle, um, and it is just a really nice setup in here. Now, a bit of a disclaimer um, I'm laying diagonally in the back of the ute here. I'm an average size bloke, I'm about 5 foot 11 or whatever that equates to in metric, about 178 centimeters, and I can comfortably lay diagonally in here. So, this setup's probably not for anyone who's taller than average, but. Um, I'll take you through a little bit about uh, what I've done in the back here. So over here beside me, you can see I've got this bit of a uh, side console bench, whatever you want to call it, um, which uh, I've incorporated a bit of storage into. I've got this little drop down door. I've got cooking stuff in here. Um, it's mostly cooking stuff, I guess, and um, storage for anything else that I might need while I'm in here. But probably the most uh, striking feature of the uh, the setup back here is that I've got a little sink and not only is it uh, a little sink but I've got running water in here as well now what that is over there is that's a little battery powered uh, pump faucet so the pump and uh, lithium-ion battery are all contained within that unit there and there's a hose that can suck up from a water vessel so in this case I've got a, a five litre jug here which I can just uh, draw water from now um, this sink doesn't actually have any drainage in it but it's just sat inside the uh, the bench there so once I'm finished using it I can uh, then go, just go and tip it out the window or whatever so I might want to uh, wash dishes or something in there or um, wash food or you know get a drink whatever it might be um, I can use that now um, you might hear that there's a bit of a fan running back here this is uh, just a standard computer fan 
but it comes with this cool little controller where you can change the different speeds on the uh, the fan itself and it runs off USB and what I've got over here is an uh, MPPT uh, solar charge controller over there which has the sorry let me get this stupid Christmas tree out there which has uh, USB power outlets in there two of those which is fed by my auxiliary battery which is mounted underneath the chassis and it is a uh, uh, an AGM, an absorbed glass mat battery, and it's mounted on its side under the chassis because there's absolutely no room underneath the bonnet, and I didn't want it to be in here, so um, that was uh, extremely handy. And then uh, it is also, you can see these cables, I need to route these a bit better, but um, these cables run up to the flexible uh, 110 watt solar panel that is on the roof. So you can actually see that we're still Sorry, you probably can't see, but um, we're actually still pulling 13 volts. Now I've also got a little uh, charge monitor up here as well, which we're going to push there, and it'll give me state of charge. So the battery's pretty well full at the moment. Yep, it is full, and it's sitting at 13.1 volts. So we may still be getting a little bit of solar, although I believe the sun's already gone down. Now when I bought this vehicle, uh, it came with uh, a couple of cigarette sockets right down in the b uh, back corner of the tub, which I guess they use to, to power a fridge, because I actually bought this vehicle with a set of drawers in it. But um, I've actually modified this uh, dual cigarette socket down here, so that I've got two more USB points, and it also has a, uh, a fridge cable that's wide into the back of it. So when I put my fridge in here, I can plug it directly in. Um, I just don't like the uh, unreliability of those cigarette sockets, especially when you're full driving, the plugs just rattle away out and then your fridge goes warm and you lose all your food. So you can see there, I've retained one of the cigarette sockets, but we also have dual USB points as well. So yep, plenty of uh, scope for charging. Now my end goal for this uh, camping setup was so that I could be able to sit up when I'm actually inside here. Um, this uh, canopy is actually a bit of a raised canopy, it's not level with the, the top of the, the cabin of the vehicle so it, it pops up a little bit. But I thought well I still need some more storage so what I've done, and I probably can't really show you because I'm sitting on top of it now, is I've created a false floor which is probably about uh, 150 mils off the, the deck of the tub and I've actually got storage underneath there where I can put um, anything um, that I might want to take away with me and it still gives me the ability to sit up in here and uh, be quite comfortable so um, that was a real bonus with this high top and speaking of the, the canopy as well you can see that it's vinyl lined and there is some actual insulation in behind there too which will be really handy for camping in here both in cool and warm uh, climates so that you can stay relatively comfortable um, having that uh, fan drawing outside here and it's really making it really nice in here and it's not stuffy at all. Now you'll notice I'm surrounded by uh, all of this shiny blueness around me. Um, now my idea there was to put uh, some sort of uh, insulated um, covering over the windows obviously to, to retain some of the temperature in here when you're camping in colder climates. But what uh, I was going to, I wanted to use Reflectix, but Reflectix seems to be very hard to get in its raw form in Australia. And if you can get it, it's quite expensive. So I actually went and bought four uh, car window shades, which are made out of Reflectix, and I've started to chop them up so that they fit the windows. You'll notice I've done the rear window, sort of and the front window but these two side windows are proving to be a bit difficult because they're actually gull wing doors and they're strutted so that they can uh, open out and um, the struts have made it a bit difficult to be able to trim the uh, reflectix to actually fit inside the window frame plus if I'm camping in a really um, hot climate as well I want the ability to be able to open those windows and put a uh, fly screen there so that I can um, have a lot of airflow so I might have to rethink that but um, tonight's mission is just to, to camp in here for the night and uh, see what the setup's like and how comfortable it is to actually sleep in here 
Right, I think it's time to test out how well I can sleep in the back of here. I might get myself a drink of water first. Very handy. Alright everyone, wish me luck. Hopefully this works out well. everybody that was the bad sleep um, took me a while to get sleep always be interesting sleeping in a foreign place something that I've never slept in before but pretty cozy in the end um, one thing I was super impressed with is that there is absolutely no condensation inside here um, a little bit on the windows but I think the um, Reflectix on the windows really helped with that lowering the condensation as well as having a fan sort of pumping fresh air in here That is really cool because I'd hate to have drips coming down on me um, Yeah, the bed was nice and comfortable and cozy so I Might get myself a drink and then uh, get up and get going and the beauty of this setup is I could just get out Get in the driver's seat and drive away. No pack up needed. That's the beauty about this setup, it's awesome to be able to just climb out of the back, walk around, jump in the driver's seat and drive away. Absolutely no setup and uh, pack down required. So you can move on as quickly as possible, which might be good if we can do some stealth camping. We'll see how we go with that. But anyway, uh, this is probably episode one in a long line of uh, truck life videos, so keep an eye for those ones on the channel. Um, drop a like, hit the subscribe button and look out for more adventures from all things outdoors. Thanks guys, see you later.